Hey everyone, this is Jacob with Somewhat Mediocre Outdoors. Today we're going to be going over the Norchill Boat Bag, the Extreme Cooler. So this is the medium sized cooler which is rated to be able to fit 24 cans in a 10 pound bag of ice with dimensions of 18 inches by 10 inches by 12. At first glance this cooler is really well put together. It's got a really nice durable exterior coating. Um, and it's, these got the waterproof YKK zippers, which is a really nice feature. Um, and it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be seeing it in person. So the first feature I want to go over with this bag is the construction of it itself. It's got a dual thermal insulated feature, which is rated to keep things hot or cold for 24 hours. It's really thick. It's about it's about a half an inch thick of uh, material. Another feature that some people don't know about with this bag is at the bottom of the zipper here, it's got a small opening to allow you to pour out any excess water that's sitting inside the cooler without opening it up entirely. And the unit does come with, the unit comes with a shoulder strap um, and it uses these D-rings here and here. And it also has these clips, these compression clips, which help for making it more compact. And then you're able to cinch them down. Going back to the interior of the cooler, it has this really high grade uh, liner which will pull out for easy cleaning. One of the things I was thinking about for this bag is using it on the river and being able to store fish in it so I don't have to uh, keep a large cooler in the truck. So I'm really excited about that. So this unit has three compartments. The main compartment which is the cooler itself and then it has on either side it has these other smaller compartments which this I'm excited for because I'll be able to slip some of my tackle boxes in here so I don't have to carry multiple things when I'm out on the water especially on the river and it's got one on the reverse side as well another nice feature is the foam inside of the handle uh, it creates kind of a comfort point instead of having like this thin nylon when you have this loaded down as much as possible with that large amount of weight uh, it's not going to dig into your hands when you're carrying it so it'll be really comfortable being able to bring it from the truck out to the river or to the boat again touching on the rigidity of this uh, cooler it's got this really nice nylon bottom the dog hair doesn't come with it but uh, it's pretty high grade um, and yeah, I'm excited to put this thing through the ringer. I like to beat up a lot of the stuff that I have. I don't really take the best care of everything that I own. And uh, this is going to be put through the test for sure. It also has a spot for a patch so you can customize it kind of to whatever you want it to say. Um, let's see, I've got a patch here. So I mean anything velcro patch you can put it on there you can put a nameplate on there whatever you have and uh, make it more personal for yourself so this comes with a two-year you break it they fix it warranty basically they cover any malfunctions to the equipment uh, within those two years and they'll they'll fix it free of charge so I'm gonna take this out on the lake tomorrow I think we're going out we're gonna do some bank fishing um, for some trout so I'll throw it around a little bit, try to put it through the ringer, see if I can break anything. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. So I filled the cooler with an undisclosed drink. And this drink has a specifically designed can to emulate blue on the picture if the drink is at optimal drinking temperature. So we'll see how long those stay at that optimal temperature. Uh, checking on it periodically throughout the day and tomorrow and we'll see how long we can keep them cold so it's 11 30 um, on march 6th 2021 so we'll see how long it takes so first trip out it went pretty good uh cooler held up well threw it around a little bit got it muddy 
kept everything cold, did what it's supposed to do. So we'll check in uh, tomorrow, sometime later in the day, and see how everything's still holding up. So I just checked the cooler from overnight, and the indication cans are still showing as blue, and there's still a majority of the ice left in it. So we're going to take it out today. We've got some work to do at another person's house, and we'll see how well it holds up, how long the ice stays cold. It is now the 7th of March, and we're at... Uh, 7 o'clock p.m. and we still have ice and we still have blue cooler indicators on the cans so we'll check it again tomorrow and see what happens well it's March 8th 2021 at 5 o'clock p.m. and we still have ice and the blue indication color is still blue and visible on the cans so it's definitely past the 24 and 48 hour marks and still has a decent amount of ice left in it. Uh, probably about a quarter of the seven pound bag of ice still left in it. So all in all, I say it's a really good bag. It holds it holds up. We kind of threw it around a little bit. Um, and it, the pockets are really nice. It keeps things dry. They're big pockets, so you can really fit a lot in them. There's two on the other side. So yeah, no, I'd, strongly suggest getting this and testing it out yourself and seeing how much you like it because i'm i'm really really impressed with it <laughs>